Hi, Laura. Thank you so much for agreeing to this interview. We appreciate it here at Ararat College. Um, I was wondering if you could please tell us a little bit about your career and what you do. Sure. So officially, I'm a livestock technician at Loverduck. So that means I go around helping farmers um, make their flocks better. If there's any problems, they ask me for advice. Um, if they need any help on farms, I can help there. I do a bit of research and development, um, a bit of an all-rounder around the place. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. And it sounds like, you know, obviously you have to have a lot of different skills um, in order to do that job successfully as well. Yes. Yes, definitely do. <laughs> awesome. So just like to think about the questions that we have um, for you from the class. Um, do you have somebody who is your biggest career influence? Well, I guess when I look at someone who's successful in their career um, and is doing really well, I actually look to my dad. Um, he's, he's very good at what he does. He, he drives a truck, <laughs> but um, he runs his own business and he's very hardworking and he's motivated and he, he strives for perfection. And so he's highly regarded for his level of perfection um now you know i know you can't all be perfect but you know it's something to aspire to be it'd be nice to get to that level of confidence in my job yeah 100 yeah. percent. and yeah i really like that you touched on you know we can't all be perfect I mean, he probably thinks he's imperfect as well <laughs> yes probably does but you know i guess from outside his point of view <laughs> yep exactly and that's great you know and it's good that someone close to home as well that you can sort of aspire to be like mm. awesome yeah so um so you've already sort of told us a little bit about what you do at love a dark what made you decide to follow this path it's an interesting one um because it's not the path i wanted to follow at all uh like i, I did want to do agriculture specifically animals um, but I thought I would go towards horses, sheep or cattle. Um, but uh, I, I ended up being offered, it was more offered to apply for a job. Mm -hmm. And I was like, sure, why not? Let's give it a go. I was straight out of uni. Um, and, yeah, I went down for meetings and I was like, I think this will be all right. <laughs> <laughs> and so far, so good. Excellent. Thank you. So um, it was kind of like one of those things that you just fall into, which I think is true for a lot of people as well, especially, yeah, sort of people in their 20s and things like that. I guess it's changed a lot since our yeah. parents, you know, got jobs. Definitely, definitely. There's a, there's a lot of different jobs out there, um, especially in agriculture. <laughs> <laughs> hint, hint. <laughs> <laughs> so can you tell me about your career journey I wonder if I don't know where you might want to start but even um if you want to start maybe like end of high school if not during high school so did you want to know like how my feet <laughs> how would you like to know this career journey do you want to know what jobs I went through or experiences I learned yeah anything like that anything that you can sort of tell us so it's like you know when I was in year 10 I wanted to do this has that changed since mm -hmm. you finished school like what other education yeah. have you sort of done as well as well as yeah job? so um I think it was like I went to an agricultural high school knowing okay in the future I want to do something in agriculture um and it was brilliant loved it uh, I still didn't have much of an idea of what I wanted to do I got to year 10 I was like uh, maybe I want to go down the horse path more uh, but then it was halfway through year 10 and I was like oh I actually kind of am interested in nutrition and I realized that I probably needed to go to uni 
to further my education. Yeah. So uh, I had to change maths classes. I had to beg them to put me into advanced maths. <laughs> and they're like, yep, okay, no worries. We see your career goals. Let's make it happen. And that was fine. But, um, yeah, so I got to in year 12 and I was like, yeah, I still would really love to do nutrition. Um, got into animal science at Adelaide Uni, which was awesome. Um, and, yeah, it, throughout uni I was like, oh, actually I kind of like the idea of ruminant nutrition, so your sheep and your cows. Um, yes, yeah, so even after uni I still had in my mind I want to do nutrition but yeah that didn't happen but <laughs> I still do I still do a little bit of nutrition when it comes to the ducks but um yeah I never expected to be in poultry at all I I, I hated poultry <laughs> <laughs> love that <laughs> brilliant Thank you. Thanks for sharing. And like, mm. it's really cool to see that, you know, even though maybe um, we had a change of plans, you still ended up in a place that, you know, you're happy with. So that's really good. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> so the next question is about, did everything go to plan? Did your plan change and why and why not? It sounds like you've kind of already given us the answer to that one, unless there's anything you wanted to expand on. Mm. Um. Yeah, it, it changed a lot. Still in agriculture, but yeah, it definitely did change. Uh, but for the better, I think. Like, yeah, it, it's been good. Yeah, awesome. And I guess you can yeah. find passion, like, you know, anywhere or within anything if it's, you know, something you're interested in as well. Mm. Awesome. Definitely. Thank you. Um, so were there any unexpected events which impacted your choices? <laughs> I guess throughout my time at Lover Duck, there were some events that happened and I actually left the company for a time. Um, and there was just a lot of things going on in my personal life um, and I just didn't feel like I was quite fitting in at the company at that point in time. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I did, I did leave for a bit, um, but I think, that was good for me and my mental state. But um, after I think 18 months, um, yeah, I was like, no, that I want to go back. <laughs> yeah. 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 And that's it. And I don't think, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, it's, you know, like you said, there was a lot going on and sometimes we need to take that break, take that step back and find out really what that's we're it. passionate about and what we need. Awesome. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So do you think that maybe that's something that you learned about yourself then? like what you need I I learned to listen to myself um and what was actually going on like um you know I kept going no it's fine I'll keep going I'll keep going but uh no I, I definitely learned to listen to the thoughts in the back of my head yeah. um because sometimes they're leading you in the direction you need to go at that time in your life <laughs> A hundred percent. And I think that's such a powerful statement mm. to make as well. And so hard to learn. <laughs> very, very, it, it's taken some time. <laughs> yeah. A hundred percent. So what's the best advice you can give to help plan a career rather than simply work to keep a job? What would you tell these students who are listening to you now? Mm. Best advice is Try and find something you do enjoy. Um, if you enjoy cooking, then see if there's a career opportunity there. See, there's all different kinds of areas in that area. Or, you know, if you want to do teaching, there's plenty of opportunities for teaching in so many different areas. Um, yeah, just find something you are passionate about and see if you can, you know, make that a career mm -hmm. um of course I had all those little jobs through high school and uni um but it was all to get to that point where I got to a career that I enjoyed um yeah. so there's nothing wrong with working at McDonald's till you're 25 if it's working towards something or 
if you haven't figured out what you want to do uh, for a long time, that's fine too. My mum didn't start doing her um, bookkeeping until she was 45. Mm -hmm. Uh, So it doesn't matter how long it takes, but that's something she was good at and enjoyed. Um, So I think, yeah, that's definitely my advice. (laughs) Try to find something that you enjoy doing and passionate about. Yeah, awesome. That's awesome advice, definitely. And I think we can all take that on board no matter how old we are. Um, yes, definitely. <laughs> do you have a mentor? This is kind of a hard question. I suppose I do. Um, the the way that Love Duck is structured, um, it, it's hard to have a mentor. Uh, we're all in different areas, but... I'd, I'd say Dennis Crowhurst. <laughs> he is a brilliant man and has helped me when I've struggled. He's supported me on ideas and he has been awesome um, throughout my whole time at Lava Duck. Um, yeah, so I appreciate all the advice he gives me and I, I often ask him, um, how should I do this? Is this a good idea? I've got this theory does it sound like a plausible theory? Yeah. Uh, So that's been really good. And if, even if it's not a set mentor, if there is a person who, you know, has been there forever, um, ask them questions. They they know things. (laughs) They're very good. They're still there at their job because they're good at their job. So um, yeah, he's, he's been, good to have around (laughs) awesome and I think again that's really sound advice you know let's listen to the people who have been here and they've seen the changes and get that advice yeah so awesome thank you definitely yeah no um would you do anything differently if you're given the opportunity (laughs) probably not um you know I've got to this point where like I said before, I, I left the company for a time. Um, I needed to do that at that point. Mm-hmm. I don't regret it. It actually helped me realise that working with the animals or ducks is what I want to do. Um, yeah, I I think I've done what I should have done. <laughs> yeah. And, and I'm, I'm glad it's, it's happened the way it has. Yeah, and I guess that throws back a bit. So even there. if there's setbacks, yeah, yeah, even if there's setbacks, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, and you know, if it's sort of something, yeah, yeah, exactly. And what you said before about listening to yourself, I think that comes into play here. It's like, no, I wouldn't because you know I needed to do what was right for me at the time. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And if it doesn't feel right, or if you're waking up and unhappy about doing your job that's not really a career you want to be in um so yeah I think everything worked out how it should yeah so I guess just on that um thinking about values and what sort of values you're committed to would you say happiness um or job satisfaction would be a big value for you yeah um and just trying to soak in as much as you can from other people. Uh, But doing that helps, well, in in my case, um, helps me be satisfied in my work because, um, you know, I'll go to these other people for their advice and it sort of helps me realise that I'm on the right track. Mm -hmm. So um, that helps with my satisfaction in my job. Mm-hmm. Uh, ha- having someone else go yeah yeah you're right Laura um, yeah and I guess with my job I make mistakes and I have to learn to forgive myself for those mistakes <laughs> they're all a learning curve and that's fine <laughs> yeah 100% Hundred percent. Um, was there anything else you wanted to add or discuss today 
I think we've covered everything. I think so too. <laughs> Thank you for your time, Laura. We do appreciate it. And um, I look forward Thank to catching you. you soon. Yes. Good yeah. luck with everything. Thank you. <laughs>